Hello everyone, you know who it is, it's Itachi Uchiha, here to dish out some truth that's gonna make the fanboys bitch, moan, complain, and post angry comments and dislike the video, explaining why your favorite legendary is not overrated. Well guess what, odds are it probably fucking is. You people like to shroud yourself with one fucking legendary Pokemon, and you like to go tell the rest of the world why that legendary is so great when it really sucks balls. Odds are you've done this, because these five Pokemon have such a large fan base that it's unbelievable how large of a fan base they have. And they're not good. That's the funniest part. They're not good Pokemon. They blow. They're shit. Well, okay, maybe that's... Maybe that's... They are not good legendary Pokemon. They can be easily taken down if you put thought and effort into it. They blow ass compared to the rest of the legendaries. They're overrated. They suck, people. They suck. And of course, I ain't talking about the... I am not talking about the uh, Celebes and Jirachis of the world who, who, and who obviously suck and everybody knows they suck and nobody uses them because they're smart, logical people. But... That this is the five Pokemon that I think have lured more fans into their fan base and have just skewered them with misery and stupidity. So this is the top five most overrated legendary Pokemon with Itachi Uchiha. So let's begin. Number five is... <laughs> Mew! Yes, M-E-W, the first legendary Pokemon, Mew... Created by your by created by God Arceus, Mew is completely overrated psychic type. First of all, it's still unable to be caught legally, which makes it stupid for a lot of reasons. First of all, who wants a Pokemon to use in competitive play that they have to hack and then cheat to get with the action replay and all that shit? Why the hell would you cheat to get it? It just it kills all of it. I mean, seriously, people. Oh my god, a Mew! Good for you, buddy! Well, guess what? You can't use it on Battle Revolution because it wasn't, because you hacked to get it. As if, unless, of course, it's on that island. You just, you, you can't catch Mew legally, which is one of the reasons it blows. Its stats are average, which are good, which is good. I like average, bad, balanced stats. They're pretty, it, Mew's stats aren't bad. But that doesn't make up for how unworthy it is of your time. It's just, it, Mew is overrated because you can't get it, and there's a far better, there's lots of far better Psych-type legendaries they can use. I prefer balanced deaths, yes, but when your special attack is so fucking high that, and your special attack and speed are so fucking high, it'll kill lots of shit in one hit. Mewtwo is awesome. Get the clone, not the original. The clone is better. Mewtwo is better than Mew because, number one, you can get it legally. You catch it at Cooling Clave and Fire Red and transfer it up to your DS games. It's it's far better. Its special attack is amazing. It can survive a hit from a bug type, unlike my pathetic Mew. It just blows. Mew blows. It sucks compared to Mewtwo. And now, I don't want to hear just because Mew can learn any TM or HM that it's good. That doesn't make it good. And most of the people that don't understand how Pokemon works will just teach Mew the fucking most powerful moves like Fire Blast and Thunder and Solar Beam. Not even have any idea what the fuck Stab is. So they'll just waste it there too. Mew blows. It's not very good. You might be able to kill a few things with it, but overall, it's not as good as you make people make it out to be. Okay? Okay. So now we're moving on to the number four. Number four. This is what I think happened with number four. The people at Nintendo were having a huge fucking fight. I want it to look like this. No, I want it to look like this. I want it to look like this. No, I want it to look like this. Pick what I think or I'll kill you all. And, uh, eventually the president of Nintendo said, Fuck all of you, we're just gonna use every one of your fucking shitty designs and just bad make the stats go all over the place. And now we have number four, Psychic Type Generation 3. Can I hear something for fucking Deoxys? Okay, thank you. 
Deoxys is atrocious in all of its four forms except the normal one. The normal one's okay. I'll give the normal form that. It has pretty valid stats and it's an okay form, but overall it will die in one or two hits anyway. Alright, but the three things that majorly suck are its other forms. Attack, speed, and defense. They all blow. Every single one of them are, is completely useless. Let's start with its attacking form. Yes, you will kill something with the attacking form with Psycho Boost. No doubt about it. Its attack stats are fucking humongous. But, Deoxys' attack form has no defense fucking ever. So if someone uses Shadow Ball, you're toast. If someone uses Ice Beam, you're toast. Someone uses Hyper Beam, you're toast. There is no fucking way around it if you use Attack Form Deoxys. When you get hit once, you will die. End of story. Now let's talk about my least favorite form, the Speed Form. Oh my god, this thing is stupid. Its design is terrible. The the the, full, the two tentacles are ridiculous. The fucking head is atrocious. It just looks like they didn't put any effort into it at all. It's fucking horrible. It's just... <laughs> Alright, the speed form, yes, you will move first. But, again, its attacking stats are a little bit high, so you might kill a few things. But, again, one hit... Goodbye, so long, nice try, get a different fucking psychic type. <gasps> Mewtwo! What are you people thinking on getting Mewtwo over this fucking Deoxys that you again have to not, you can't obtain legally, you have to get the action replay hack to go to Birth Island or whatever to get Deoxys. Deoxys is not that good, he's not worth your time. Get a psychic type legendary that's better and you can fucking use it legally. Mewtwo, Cruelly, and Cave. Come on, people. It's not that hard. Think a bit before you make a decision. Alright, now, the defense form of Deoxys is horrible, of course, because it has no attack stats. Sure, it's going to take it, you can still survive a lot, but it's useless in battle because you it's, it's a wall, and I'm not going to call it a sweeper, I'm going to call it a wall because you can't do anything with it. Uh, it's a good... It's bad, because you can't kill anything. You'll just sit there, it'll survive a lot of turns. But it's horrible, you can't do anything with it, because it learns a bunch of attacking moves. Oh, dear God. Deoxys sucks. It's a poorly executed idea. You make the stats more, but you don't need four forms for a Pokemon. That's ridiculous. Deoxys sucks. That's the bottom line. Alright. Now we move on to number three with another fucking psychic type. Psychic types legendaries just seem unnecessary now that the best legendary ever, Mewtwo, came in and took everything. You don't need another psychic type legendary, Nintendo. We're dumb. We have a good one. But, they obviously didn't learn that, and I'll give them the fact that it was Gen 2. Fucking Lugia is atrocious. It's another fucking defensive based psychic type. Like this defense form Deoxys, it blows. Lugia's attack stats are a bit higher, I believe, so I'll give it that, but it's mostly a special defensive special defense based Pokemon, which again, in competitive play, you never see those. You see its strategies and mostly attacking base. You never see fucking defense. Lugia blows in this category. It, there are far better psychic defense types with more balanced stats. Cresselia, and even a Gardevoir is a better choice than Lugia, because Gardevoir and Cresselia are pure psychic types, which only have three weaknesses. Lugia, on the other hand, sure gets with a bug, but Lugia has five weaknesses. Sure, the special defense is high, but then it can't it can attack. Now, sure, Aeroblast is a special move, but it can't do anything with it. Aeroblast is atrocious, it can never kill anything because of Lugia's Piss poor attack stats. They're awful. They're shit. And Ho Ho is way better than Lugia because it's mostly attacking based. And just because Lugia being no fucking hydro pump, it doesn't mean it's better than Ho Ho, people. It doesn't. Ho Ho is way more useful in battle because of Sacred Fire and all of its other fire type attacking stats. Ho Ho is better choice is a better choice than fucking defensive Lugia. Okay? Lugia is shit. End of story. It blows. 
Hey, it's overrated. Lugia can't do much in battle. It was just gonna sit there and be double teamed until it dies. Because they know the defense is high. And it's Lugia blows! Oh, what's the last one? Oh, Alright, so we'll go to part two.